My name is Elizabeth and I was married just over 10 years. Why did you choose collaborative divorce? I chose collaborative because it's a, a gentler way of going through what can be a very arduous process. And I have to say it met and exceeded all my expectations. My husband um, at the time was a, a physician in the community. I'm an attorney. We're both kind of well known. And one benefit of collaborative divorce among the many benefits is, you know, there's a modicum of privacy. And the only time you appear in court is the day that you go to get the judge to put the stamp on the divorce paper. And so it's, it's a way to do it to keep your privacy. It's a way to do it that's a little kinder, gentler. But you're a champion litigator known for achieving multi-million dollar settlements. You love going to court. I can do battle. I'm a warrior. I'm a champion for all of my clients. But when it comes to myself, it's a very different thing to have to stand up and say, this isn't working. I failed at this relationship. You know, I didn't get married until I was 38. I waited a long time. I'd been engaged before and broken them off. And so to have that confidence to know that what I was doing and the way I was doing it was correct is something that I did not have. Just because I, I, I have it for someone else does not necessarily translate that I actually have that ability for myself. There's a little bit of a disconnect, which I actually recognized. And that's why the team support was so important and vital for me. What was your emotional state like when you began this process? Initially, I, I had a lot of trepidation. I, I, was, I had a lot of fears, um, financial fears, because at the time I had just started my own firm. Um, and my husband supported me. Um, I had fears of, am I going to be 50 and alone? I'm going to be 50 in 10 days. I mean, who's going to want an old woman when they can date you know, someone young? Um, will I ever find love again? And, and it's a scary process because you never go into a marriage thinking, I'll get a, if it doesn't work, I'll just get a divorce. And sure, marriages, you know, wax and wane. But when you finally make the decision to terminate the marriage and walk away from something that wasn't healthy for you, it's not easy because it's a, it's a death of a dream. Tell me about the role of the mental health facilitator, please. For me and my divorce, having the financial planner, the expert, and the mental health counselor was key because that kept us on track, that kept my ex-husband from ditching the process. If it's hand-holding, if it's a call at 10 at night, if it's a meeting um, with little or no notice on a Saturday, my mental health team and my financial planner and lawyers were always there. And I think for my divorce and the situation with my ex-husband, that was really important. At one point, your collaborative divorce almost broke down. It was a concern, but I also felt like I had a lot of faith in the team. And I know my collaborative divorce team met several times, numerous times, without my ex-husband and myself even, to try and see what they could do to make the situation palatable for us to make sure that this did not fail. That, and they kept the lines of communication open. And what was important is bringing us back to our goals. Initially, when I first signed up for Collaborative, I was given a pretty intensive worksheet that asked a lot of thoughtful questions about the relationship and what my goals were. What was I hoping to see at the end of this process? Where would I be standing alone? And every time we met, we would review those goals. And when you, you are brought back and reminded of your goals, it does, it does make a difference. A lot of people say, I don't need this whole team, I just need the two attorneys. But in your case, it was the team that kept you out of the courtroom, right? I think that this divorce process, as is, is hard as it was, I, I lucked out. I lucked out because I had a tremendous team. And they saved it. They saved what could have been a disaster. Because they're so experienced with the different dynamics involved and, and the demise of a relationship, they're able to tune in quickly and they were able to save this from failure. And let me tell you, if this had failed, I'd still be in litigation today. And it would have cost 
probably over $200,000 easily. And as a champion litigator, you know it might have been very, very different in court. We would have gotten into things that probably would have been embarrassing for my ex-husband. Um, it would have cost a lot of money. If some attorneys, like in any field, they gouge. They'll set unnecessary hearings that could have been worked out with a phone call because they get paid by the hour. And let's face it, you're probably not a repeat client. And so they have one time to bill, and they tend to bill a lot. And that doesn't happen in collaborative? No, it does not. So you don't have two experts that you've hired, two higher guns. They're constantly dueling at each other, and you're taking depositions, and that's expensive. These are things that add up, and you can spend one hundred to two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars getting a divorce. What would you say to the folks who say he wronged me? I want to take him to court. I want to get the best settlement possible. I would say the same thing I say to my clients. I say if you're bringing this suit because of a personal vendetta, then I'm not your lawyer. It's not the reason to bring a suit. If you can harmoniously separate from your spouse, it's much healthier for you. Forget about your spouse. Let's just talk really, because there's no real such thing as vengeance in a divorce, because no one's a winner. But actually, in my case, I came out whole. I really did. I, I, I had no damage, and that's because my team took care of me. And you don't get that if you litigate. There's talk of the collaborative approach being used not just for divorce, but let's say families fighting over a will. Anytime you can avoid going to court and having an adversarial situation, you should absolutely, absolutely go down that road. You have an opportunity to sit down, look at someone in the eye, talk, tell them why you think the case should settle or why you think the case is worth X amount of money. You get to hear what the other side is thinking. Anytime you go to court, there's no winners. You know, everybody walks out feeling like they lost. You mentioned that the collaborative divorce actually taught you several life skills. In my situation, I was putting my relationship before myself and not necessarily doing it on purpose or trying to be a martyr. But when you put yourself in a lesser situation uh, or an inequitable situation, um, it's, it's very unhealthy for the relationship. And you're seeking love and you're seeking um, adulation, adoration, but all you seem to be doing is giving, 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 and not receiving. So it's really not an equitable relationship. And you get into this pattern, if you will, where you try and be everything to that person, save them. And by staying in your own lane, you're cognizant that you deserve to have a nice relationship. You deserve to be treated nicely, as does your, your spouse. And you deserve to be an equal. And that's something that resonated with me. How does that help you now? said in my relationship now, which is great, I'm in counseling, I'm making sure I am not just the giver, I'm making sure that I receive, that I'm entitled to receive, and it just makes for, I think, a much healthier pattern of behavior. And I understand you might be getting married? Yes, yes. But this time around, you know, I've learned so much, even through the divorce process with my mental health counselor that I'm actually in counseling now with, you know, my boyfriend. And I think, you know, these are just tips and skills that you kind of learn um, through going through the process that actually carry forward for me. And I think it, it will bode well for my future relationships. I have to tell you, going through this divorce, I'm better than okay. I'm very, very, very grateful and very fortunate that I went the collaborative divorce route. And Going forward, um, this process has really made me aware of what I want in a relationship and what I don't want in a relationship. And it was a very humane way to waken up and say, wow, you know, I, this, is, this was the right decision for me, getting a divorce, and this is the path and my new chapter in my life.